so step one is solve the equation for cosine of theta. So subtract one from both sides. So five cosine of theta is equal to three, and divide by five. So to solve, we need to take the inverse cosine of three fifths, and what do you get? Fifty three. Yeah. Okay. So fifty three point one gives you one answer. So cosine in this problem is positive, right? So where else is cosine positive? So fourth, my reference angle is 53. So then I name it. So 306.9? Okay. I'll show you. But yeah, you're not going to use cosine, you're going to use something. Because remember, cosecant goes oh, yeah. with sine. So add 9 to both sides. And then divide by 6. What is cosecant of theta? It's the same as what? So 1 over the sine of theta is equal to 9 over 6. So the inverse of that is sine? Well, if I, yes. So if I want to get sine in the numerator, I can just flip both sides and say, okay, well, then the sine of theta is equal to 6 over 9. And now we solve it just like we did the other problems. Can we reduce 6 over 9? Yeah. Two-thirds. So what do you get? Inverse sine of two-thirds is what? Forty-one point eight. Okay, so that is your reference angle, and that's also your first answer. Where else is sine positive? The second quadrant. So my reference angle is forty-one point eight. So I name that by taking one eighty minus forty-one point eight. Which would you get? One thirty. Make sense? 